So I went and got me, hello everybody. I went and got me some picture frames. My mother's birthday's tomorrow. So I'm gonna make her a picture frame with her grandchildren, family in there. And I'm gonna put some flowers inside. But first I'm gonna put them together with some B7000 and some hot glue, some hot glue to make sure it stay. And this frame got some type of indent, so we don't want to put it on the whole thing. We're just going to put it on one little part of it. And then we're going to hold it while the glue dry. And we don't need a whole, a whole lot of glue. Dry. Oh, some glue got on here on the side. I'm trying to wipe that off. Good thing about glue, when you get it all over the place, if it drip out from where it belongs, it's easy to come off. Just peel it off. Putting all the frames together to create a box. And then I'm gonna put something at the bottom to stabilize it for my flower pot. So this is my last piece I'm gonna add in the front right here. I'm gonna add some glue just to stabilize it in case the hot glue come apart. So I add a nice little here. And here's my last piece to put on here. I'm going to create a base to put on the bottom of it. Because we don't want it coming apart. Then I'm going to go look for me a vase. I got a lot of vases in the basement. I was collecting them from my job. Put this last piece on. I'm gonna put some some decorations on it around the edges of it. And um, pretty much this part is done. It's a cute little frame. It don't have much border, so you can't make it flat, flush to each other. So it's got like a little space between each one all the way around. But it's still cute. All right, now I'm gonna create a base for it to keep it all together. Use a styrofoam board to create a base to make sure it's stable all the way around. And I'm gonna cut this out.
I got my square out to put it on top and I got it fitting inside the glue. I'm gonna add some glue and some hot glue. And this will actually make it more sturdier because you can't really leave it open at the bottom because it's flimsy and it's just gonna fall apart. So I add some glue all the way around it. Then add your layer of hot glue on it. I mean, you could have, I could have used a black one, but nobody won't see it because it's going to be stuck in the groove under here. Inside this groove, nobody won't see it. And it should make it stable enough where it shouldn't come apart. I'm going to go ahead and do put one by her plant. I guess she like plants. gonna fit properly inside this groove and um it's gonna make it sturdy i might just stick some inside too just to hold it because we don't want it to come apart and even and when you put a pot in there it's not for the lifting up and dragging it around nowhere because the pot is heavy it's gonna make it fall apart it's only a picture frame picture frame so my square looks good it's a nice square looking good so i put glue in the inside just to keep my board from coming off and making my frame fall apart so i got my boards inside and i'm gonna hold it for a few seconds to it dry so i put all the glass back in here all the pictures back in here um, I didn't look for no pictures yet, but it do rip all the things off the back. Cause they don't need that inside. And you just put everything pretty much back together and you find your pictures. Make sure they're the same size. And, um, put everything back together. That's it. So that's pretty much the box is pretty much done like it, like i said it's not uh gonna be 100 percent stable but if you ain't throwing it around or letting it fall on the floor it should last i'm putting some reinforcement glue around the edges here just to make sure the foam board stays securely on here because you don't want it coming off I'm gonna let that dry. Some of this, I think it's pretty cute. One side is green, one side is purple. I think I used the green, the green side, and I'll put it along here just to decorate the box to make it so it won't look so plain. You know, a little decoration brings it out and make it look nice. That's all. So I might add some of that on there. Move down my decoration to it just a little strip of glue down here i don't think you need a whole lot just a little bit Get a little bling make it look cute that's all uh, one little piece of glue all the way around just keep it in place no hot glue hot glue too messy Just 
this is um the easy something something easy easy that i didn't want to do some things i just think is too easy like just just do it you don't need a video for everything so all my bling is put in place to make it look nice that's a little extra added touch to it so that's what it look like the bling on it. it just makes it look a little extra nice so i'll use the green for one side then i'm gonna use purple for the other side then green then purple because that's all i have and this is stick and if you try to use hot glue it might make it messy because it's stick be falling all over the it's going over the other side making sure I got bling for every side, so if she turn it around, wherever she turn it, she can have bling on it. Put a plan in the center. I think it looks nice. Really nice added touch, that's all. So whoever asked me to do this, listen, very, very easy. Let's get you some picture frames, stick them together. Use some hot glue. Use some B7000 E6000 or something. That's all. Let's stick it on there. You don't have to worry about doing too much of anything. It's just simple. Simple and easy. Do it all the way around. That's all. I'm gonna put some reinforcement inside in these corners to make sure the picture frame is a little more steady, sturdy. Gotta play around with this paper. So I want my paper to be triangle coming out on the sides. I think a triangle is too. So I'm gonna create my triangle and then stick this piece inside. The rest of it inside. So I'll create my next triangle. Put that in inside, make sure my pieces out, stick the other pieces inside so my triangle could stick out because the triangle makes it look nice. So I'll get my next piece. Get this triangle and stick it on this one here, and I just gonna stuff the, the middle piece in. So then I'm creating triangles all the way around. So I got three of my one more to go. So I got this one, it's gonna come here, stick the other pieces inside. And then with my triangle and put my pot inside. Fluff it out. Like a key tip. Something you can keep for a long time. And Michael's Michael's flowers are pretty anyway. They always got pretty flowers. When they put the bouquets together, they're very nice. Triangles hanging out. I'm gonna add my pictures. So I'm pretty much done with this request. You know, very easy DIY. If you want to do something nice for Mother's Day and add your family pictures to it, very simple. Simple DIY. Add your pictures to your frame. Get your hot glue, your E6000. Add your picture frame. Move with all your pictures on it. I didn't add none. You put your floral arrangement on top of it. Real flowers, fake flowers, whatever you like. 
you put it on top. These flowers arrangement came from Michaels. I think they just cute like it is, so I'm gonna leave it alone. There you go. Figure your video, yes, boy.